I think the next thing we're going to do is the tongue because the same thing applies. We put the nose in there, work the surround. We've now got to put the tongue in and work the surround to that. So that's the next thing we're going to do. I'm going to start the tongue by just putting a little bit of white in. Followed by 2.30. That can go over the top of the white. The white is there just to make sure that we have just a little bit lighter base underneath. Now this can go in right up. The only area I don't want it is, is there. Let me just show you. Um, I'm going to use the 233 here. It's, it's a very, very dark area in the, the... The light's coming from this direction, so it's picking up a little bit of light on that edge of the tongue. So what we're doing here, this side will be just a little darker. About there. I think that's about as far as I want to go. And then we use the light grey. Diffuse that in. All right. Now pink. The pink I'm using is one three two, which we've used everywhere. And the colour of the tongue is a bit unusual. I've got to tell you. I think I've done. I've used these colours before. Four tongues, but uh, they are a bit unusual. So the pink. Now all these colours I put in here really are base colours to cushion the effects of the next few colours we're going to be using. And the next few colours we're going to use. This is what we're going to use is two two six. Can't see it that way up two two six. And we want that as a general tone. First of all, you see what I mean by being unusual. It's very, it's sort of a dark pink tone. And uh, I'm being a bit tentative because I don't want to put too much of it on. But it's got to, it's got to be an underlining colour, underlying colour rather. And also along the edges. Now, uh, you might wonder, why didn't I put dark in there? Well, the reason I didn't is because I wasn't quite sure how much of this was going to have to be blended. And I didn't want to blend back in to the to the light tongue, the dark colour, so I hope that makes sense. It just didn't feel as so though that's the way it should be done. So that's all right. Now in a moment I'm going to have to blend this, but I just want to pick the right moment. And what's happening, you see, the teeth are underneath the tongue and they're protruding somewhat, so it's creating a little bit of bumpiness in the tongue. But just there is where this tooth is pushing the tongue out. And it's doing the same thing on the other side, but the tooth here is underneath there. Uh, it gets complicated, doesn't it? But that's now setting it up. All right, and we've still got this centre area. Let's just put that in a little stronger. All right, okay. And now I'm going to switch pencils yet again. This is 160. The combination of these two give, will give me the colour that I'm looking for. At the moment they're very much separated but you can imagine what would happen when I put the blender on. They're all going to fuse together. And again. And I think we'll go around the edge. I don't really think it's 
critically important that I adhere to the exact colour that I'm looking at on the reference pictures. Okay, now blending. I'm going to use the, the softest one I've got, which is the pointed colour shaper, ivory. What we want to do is to blend it all in now. None of this I've pressed hard on. In other words, I've got a lot of pastel paper I can still work with. Now that colour is astonishingly accurate. Now if I stop when I get to the end of this, you can see what I was saying. You see how those colours look individual there, but here and they don't. And that's good. And I've even managed to get some of that light there. Yeah, let's see what it happens on the other side. I did put light in here too and again you can just see the influence of that. That's not bad at all folks not bad at all so now we've got to start thinking about making it more three dimensional so I'm going to put a bit of white back in gently here just again pushing this up a bit so that we are thinking that the tooth is underneath there bit there. I can't even emphasize just how lightly I'm applying this. What it means there is we have a darker color which means just there. I, can light it. I can't light it up in here because it's a shadow but I can just do something about that and just on this side there. By putting the light in you create the shadow the separation of the tongue. Got it. And here again, now this is where it's quite light. So we'll put just a little bit more pressure on. Because it'll always come back in and darken these other areas off. Okay, so still a bit of freedom in there. Now I want a little bit of light, but I don't want quite so much here. Leaving that center area. Alone. And it comes up there like that. Okay. And then we've got the light on this side. Again, suggesting that the tongue is being raised slightly. That's not bad, is it? So let's darken up now. Let's go the other way. A little bit of strength. This is two two. What is it? Yeah, two two six. And there, around there. Do one little bit, like I'm doing now, and then I'm going to use the one sixty just to darken it just a little more. And see how much darker that is. Okay, it might be okay for the moment. So let's continue. I think I'll probably show you as much as I can of this because it is quite tricky. Once again, back going in between, you see, you, you get the illusion that those are bumps there. Most unusual. I don't think I've done a tongue like this before. depth on this side because we've got some shadow there. Not too much going on here. Just a little bit of depth there. And then the 160. Right. And then the blender.
that back a bit. going to leave it that for the moment because we've got to concentrate on the depth and working out how that depth is going to be put in. We've got to darken that off now. I bet you're wondering which one we're going to be using. Well I'm going to have to use a dark colour but I think what we'll, we'll do first of all is we'll, we'll use this red. Do, 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 we'll do one half of it and then the 160 now that's 226 and 160 because that will set the depth up but we need to be darker than that and I think the only darker color I've got is 181 that this is life in your hands job because it's going to make a big difference and it's very dark I'm not doing this side yet. It's always best to play safe. Now as it drops into here, it lightens up a little bit. And we can do that in an unusual way. So let's just blend that out and see how we get on. The colors underneath are going to mix with that 181 so you see it doesn't look as severe does it and we can even get away with a little bit of black in there as well as long as we got that under color and, that, and then we need to forget the 181 and bring in the 226 and the 160 and then you get the link. Now that is pretty good. Not dark enough. We need it to be darker. But it's pretty good. So let's, let's just take our life in our hands and do it yet again. A little bit of red. There's a limit, of course, to how much I can put on here. The paper won't respond if there's too much strength, too much pressure, rather black now that, that that is probably surprising you and then what do we do do we use the color shape and no we don't we go back in now with the reds 226 and the 160 Basically, you're using these as a colour shaper because we've already we've already blended underneath. We don't need to do it again. Now that is that's remarkable. So let me do the other side of that because then I can show you something else that we can do. In fact, I'll show it before we go because I can add this on. You can use the 230 because what I want to do now is to use the 230, which is the one I started with just to put just a little bit of light seeping through like that there's more on that side but you can see how you can interfere now why is that working so well well folks it's working well and i'm going to use it in here in a minute you will use it now it's working well because it's a bluey gray and a, and a blender in its own right you see how we can use it like that and I can even put more depth on if I want to that is quite remarkable that took a long time it's going to take a long time to do that but let me do that first then I'll come back and we can put the finishing touches to it